kind of want to stay here with my Bazozors, keep them here in Viking Bay, but just ride my Alpha Tyrant on back to my base, you know, kind of ride them and take all these materials, all the extra oil, all that kind of stuff, take it back to my base, you know, maybe, maybe get a torch or something like that, that way you can go explore that underwater base. I think I'm going to keep them here, yeah. We'll come back, maybe a little bit later, and explore that underwater base. I'm having a lot of fun over here. I don't even know if it's a base, like an underwater cave, underwater cavern, I don't know. Like, it's not even underwater itself. You have to be underwater to get there, and then it, I guess, is underground and completely dry once you get there or something crazy. But it's just, like, pitch black. We didn't have any materials to make a torch, unfortunately, so couldn't really explore it properly. I wonder if there's a, uh, a light. A light, kind of like a glow stick in Aberration, where it's not like a torch where it's going to flicker all the time and maybe use electricity or something like that. I wonder if it's, like, a flashlight? Well, there's a flashlight attachment for my, th my, uh, my shotgun. Or my anything, honestly. Simple sniper rifle, pistol, long neck rifle, shotgun, assault rifle. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll make that. Although that's not really going to work very well, I don't think, right? I don't know. It might be better than nothing, but of course the torch is like a million times better. But I think it'd be a lot better if we had like an actual like light that maybe uses electricity or something like that. Which I don't think in Ragnarok, I don't know if we have anything similar to that. So that's kind of unfortunate. But I think I'm going to park my Basilosaurus about right here in the middle of these two little things where a bridge would be, like a natural bridge, but I guess maybe nature took its course with eroding that down, and now they're never touching again. Whoops. <laughs> uh, anyways, let me get off my Bazil's horse right here, and uh, let me tell him to stop following. Uh, whoops. Uh, this button. There we go. Let me see. What all do you have in this inventory? We have a lot of Megalodon uh, tooth right there. I guess if anything, I could ride my fellow down here. Get down here, hater. Let me see if he's going to follow me down here. Hopefully he is. Uh, I guess I'll put my regular ghillie armor back on. There we go. Is he down here? Where is he? Where's my Alpha Tyrant on? Not ah, there he is. And unfollow. All right. Well, let me go into his inventory. Maybe, like, land right above my Zillasaurus. Grab all the materials I need. Hopefully he has enough carry weight to actually take, you know, pretty much. I think they have similar carry weight, right? Yeah, 779. Oh, he's already carrying a lot of oil, though. I guess if anything, we can get rid of the raw meat. Everything that's not prime meat, maybe? There we go. And then, uh, I don't know, he might not have enough still. Yeah, let me let me give him the absorbent substrate, the oil, and speaking of oil, I don't know if we need that much oil. <laughs> I guess I'll take all the kibble here, let's see how much kibble. Nah, we don't have any more kibble, alright. We have megalodon teeth, we have black pearls, we have oil, silica pearls, oh yeah, silica pearls, but then again, silica pearls weigh like nothing though. And of course we have the uh, tentacles there, I don't think there's anything else here really. I think I just have a bunch of random other- Oh, I can't move! Can't move, you guys! Um, black pearls, 82 pounds. Oh my god, that's a gigantic black pearl right there. Right on that little bit- Oh my god, the Bazil- It's inside the Bazil's horse now. <laughs> uh, let me give you all that stuff. There we go, alright. Let me see if I can find the black pearl. Oh, oh, go to my Tyranno and give him the black pearls. We have a lot of Karen and Kain over here. Anything else over here worthwhile, though? I don't think so. I guess if anything, the fish meat, that's going to be really nice. I could always use that to make more stuff. I just need to get a little bit of Tinto berries. We have more uh, Basilosaurus blubber right there. We could use that for the boss battles and whatnot, you know, entering the arena. There you are. Can we fly? Ah, oh, we could fly very slowly, man. Might want to drop, uh, what do we have here? We have, I don't need that sulfur. Get rid of these recipes. They weigh like nothing, though. There you go. Get rid of that. I guess if we can get rid of the fish meat, then, yeah. Not really the biggest deal in the universe to keep that. There we go. Eh, an extra set of gilly leggings. That's one pound, but I'll get rid of it. I don't care. Keep a little bit of the raw prime meat. There you go. And I guess we're fine now. 667 out of 779. Nah, that's a pretty good speed right there. Yeah. Yeah, we're flying pretty fast. Not bad. We have a skeletal Utahraptor over here, though. I don't know. Maybe, skeletal Utahraptor? Maybe, maybe I'll bring my Angulosaurus over here. Although I feel like it might be- oh, then again, level 80-something. Remember, we did kill a skeletal Utahraptor with, uh, two Alpha Ravagers, or maybe one Alpha Ravager, and then also one Rock Drake back in Aberration. But this one is level 85, so, I don't know, maybe our, uh, Ankylo- Alpha Ankylo? Maybe he's actually able to take him on, maybe I'll be able to give him some of the, uh, carnivore baby food to heal him up and all that sort of stuff, I don't know, maybe his armor's really good. Now, about right here, this is what I'm talking about. Whenever I said the dragons despawned, and then two dragons spawned in over here. Oh my god, is that an Alpha RG? <gasps> what? That is an Alpha RG. Wait, what in the world? Or is that a tribe leader? What? Are they fighting that thing? Oh my god, whoa. Orange tribe Alpha RG. That must be the. Oh my god, they're coming. Oh my god, no, 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 Just fly, fly, fly. Oh no, the Alpha RG's coming. The Alpha RG's coming. And we have a little up on myself. Still need to get that done, but oh no, he's right there! Oh no, that's a- oh, what in the world? Okay, he attacked us, now he's gone. Maybe the tribe been <laughs> summoned him back into with the Pokeball. 
I guess that's okay. Oh, yep, down there, yep. Wait, that's a wyvern. That's a wyvern, not a dragon. I swear in me mum that they were dragons, not wyverns. Prime Dimorphodon right there. That's just a random heckin' wyvern just right there. Beehives and stuff down there, that's kinda crazy. No, I don't know what's going on. They're just gone. Now everyone's gonna think that I'm going crazy. Thinking that there's two dragons over here when it's just a one wyvern and a, a prime, a prime Dimorphodon. Oh no. Oh, there's another prime dot. Man, there's a lot of these guys around here. Look at that. Remember, we do have one. Actually, we have two. One of them's named Savater. Oh, Green Tribe, Green Tribe, we need to watch out. Trying to see if there's any beaver dams rebuilt there. I don't really see any. Maybe there's like one, maybe two. It seems like there's like no beaver dams. I guess I'll just wait until those are rebuilt and we can get those rare mushrooms. Rare and there's another Prime Dimorphodon. What is with these guys spawning all over them? And maybe just more predominantly in this area. And there's more over there. Unless those are Tyrannons? Yeah, those are Tyrannons. Okay. Whew. But we just spotted like three, four, five of those guys in like basically the same area. What? Oh my god, is that a Ravager? Oh, that's a Baryonyx. Oh. <laughs> I've been playing too much Operation, huh? Anyways, let me drop off all this stuff over here. I'll probably head back over there here in a bit. Uh, oil and silica pearls and all that kind of stuff. I don't think we really need anything. A good thing absorbent substrate doesn't spoil, so that's good, all right? Let me grab all the lighter stuff that I can just carry with my own hands. Chitin, keratin, all that kind of stuff. Hide. Uh, the kibble, yeah. Need to hand deliver all the kibble. Look at all the kibble we got. Rex, Spino, Quetzal, Titanimo, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, like, if we got a new kibble that we never had before right there. Hopefully we did. But, uh, there you go. That should be good. I should be able to resource pull all the oil and the black pearls. Should be able to resource pull those into the vaults, which I still need to make a few more extra vaults because we're almost out of room over there, you guys. Although I do need a lot of metal and all that sort of stuff. Don't know if we have enough metal to make another one, but let's see. We're going to be level 90 here in a moment. Let's see where we want this uh, extra perk to go to maybe stamina? I don't know. Uh, water? Food? Weight? I kind of want to do carry weight. Let's do carry weight, 310 pounds now. Maybe we'll work towards 350 pounds or something. I think the overall level cap is level 120 or level 1... I think it's 120, 125, or 130. Something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, man. We have, like, no inventory space over here. But I guess I'll just throw as much as I can over here, right? There we go. And it's almost empty. There's the kibbles. Oh, now it's bug, uh, bug repellent. I need that. Go inside of a, the fridge. There you go. Blubber. Now we're at 593 out of 600 slots in there. Man, we have, like, no room in there. <laughs> do I have flippers on right now? I do have flippers. What in the world? I guess I forgot to take those up. Whoopsie daisy. Let's see if we have any new kibbles that we don't have. I guess Argentavis kibble egg. Ooh. Uh, Tapahara egg. Titanoboa. Whoa. Lots of Quetzal and Spino and Rex. Wow. Those are really good. I guess if anything, we can get rid of the prime meat. There we go. And because of our brand new uh, grinder, we can actually use this prime meat to, I guess, insta spoil into a bunch of spoiled meat or something crazy. I don't know. Let me see. What was it? Meat? And then, uh, uh, I guess we. Oh, I guess it only works with regular meat, huh? Yeah, you can only turn regular meat into prime meat. You can't do anything with prime meat already, so that's kind of unfortunate. Whoops. I guess I would just put these in, like, feeding troughs or something like that. I think I have feeding troughs here, right? I think I have, like, one, but everyone's, like, so... Yeah, I have one, but everyone's, like, so far away from them now. <laughs> Anyways, let me put up some of the prime meat over here. I have, like, almost no room in there. Oh! Beaver dam there, though! That respawned in. They just built in a brand new beaver dam. Hopefully nothing bad happens to it. Would be a shame if something bad were to happen to that beaver dam. Huh. <laughs> Anyways, let me get some of the goblin food. Uh, let me put the bug repellent in there. I think we're good to go now, huh? Man, look at all that cooked meat we have in there. That's really good. Don't think we're going to run out of that anytime soon. I'm going to need to repair my uh, scuba leggings and one of my scuba tanks. I'm going to need to repair them over here. Hopefully, I have enough materials. No! Oh! Not enough resources. But then again, polymer. We should be able to craft that, right? Like a pretty good amount. I don't know. Let's get like 15. Sounds like a good number. Oh, not enough resources. Do we not have obsidian anymore? I think I might have used all my obsidian. <laughs> we only have one. Oh, no. That's what I'm talking about. I should not have used the regular obsidian. I should have used organic polymer instead of making regular polymer. Man! Well, I guess I'll, I'll put these flippers up as well. Those need to be repaired, too. But the other armor does not need to be repaired. That's good. Let's keep all this stuff on. That's nice. Yeah, let's go myth bust. I don't think we ever did it on camera. Do we still have the, uh, the armor reagent over here? If we add an armor reagent to, like, a, a scuba tank, is that going to add armor on it? No, it didn't. That was completely pointless right there. I guess if you have an armor rating of zero and you do an armor reagent on it, that's just going to make it increase from zero to zero. So that was completely pointless. Man! Well, I guess I could use the other one on, uh, I don't know, maybe... 
Uh, oh yeah, I was wearing my flag helmet and my flag gauntlets for that adventure, by the way. So that's why I had a lot of good armor rating. Probably wasn't taking very much damage either. Not bragging, it's just a fact. Anyways, let's uh, augment that up to 766 armor rating. Man, that's good eatings right there. Oh, I'm going to need to uh, repair this scuba tank as well. There you go. Put that up. Oh wait, that was the one that was already there. Whoops, I don't know, why did I take that out? Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to need to repair that scuba tank as well. And I'll probably do that a little bit later off camera, so. I think I'm going to resource pull. I don't even know, do we even have enough? Oh yeah, we have a little bit of room over here. Oh, and we have a whopping three black pearls here already. Will lad, we're going to have almost 50 black pearls here in total, you guys. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 41. Uh, I guess we have 15 in the other one, too. Okay, so now we consolidated them all into one place. All the Black Pearls are up to 59. Whoa, you guys, man, that is brag worthy. <laughs> Anyways, let's pull all the oil over here. I guess now yeah, just, oh my God, 1,500. Jesus, a lot of them. Squid oil there as well. Not bad. I'll take that, too. There we go. All right, well, like I said, I think I'm going to pause the recording, try and get some of the some of the scuba stuff kind of repaired, and maybe I'll make a few torches and stuff, and we could go adventure around in that underground slash underwater base that we kind of discovered, see if we could find anything over there. There's probably nothing in there, just judging by the previous caves we've kind of explored here in Ragnarok, but I guess it's going to be a pretty decent little adventure. We could just kind of walk around and see if we could find any loot, maybe a uh, like a little loot crate, kind of like those pirate boxes back there. I had a little bit of booty in the form of uh, pikes and shields and all that kind of stuff, which was basically trash for us. Just a bunch of extra carry weight, right? <laughs> but I guess I'm going to pause the recording, get a bunch of organic polymer, all that sort of stuff, repair my scuba armor. And I'll see you guys over at the Viking Bay. We can continue exploring that underground area and maybe kill some more giant squid. So I'm going to pause the recording real quick and I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, back. I'm here in that cave. I have have five torches. Ooh, that looks like there's a waterfall in the background. I guess we'll see that here in a minute, but I have five torches. I also made a thatch foundation as well as a standing torch and a bed. That way we lay down the standing torch and the bed and uh, use that as sort of a checkpoint or something. Anyways, I can barely even see. I'm pretty sure when I go in the water, my torch is going to go out, right? And that doesn't even really light up that much. Ooh, we need to be careful here, you guys. Yeah, there goes my torch. Okay, well, let's lay down the foundation right here. I don't know what's over here any critters or anything like that but in the past we've oh place it down like that okay sheesh but in the past we've come into ragnarok caves and there hasn't really been anything inside of here so i assume maybe it's empty but you never know and it was let's lay down the bed and this is going to be our little respawn point that way i don't have to respawn all the way back over there and uh, oh i uh, forgot to tell you guys but i left a an extra scuba tank and an extra um, flippers in my Bazillazaurus' inventory. That way, if we do die and we respawn over here, I'll be able to get my uh, scuba tank and all that kind of stuff. If it does, uh, and uh, be able to retreat back home, even if my uh, other stuff gets lost or whatever. Anyways, I guess we just rename this bed, I don't know, cave bed or something like that. I don't know. Where are we at on the minimap, by the way? Uh, let's go right here. I can actually see. Yeah, we're like in the middle of the, uh, the landmass right there. Yeah, we're really far away from Viking Bay there. Sheesh. Anyways. Let me just uh, switch this back out to Gilly, or should we switch? Yeah, switch it out to Flack. That way we're a lot more uh, protected from any other critters that might be wanting to end our lives. Anyways, can I put a torch in my offhand? I can't. Man, I really wish I could. That way I'd be able to have a torch in one hand and have a weapon in the other, but right now I'm not really seeing anything right now. Yeah, you can see right there. It's kind of like a beacon. I can actually see where my Bazil source is, my little miniature base. So it's really nice having that little beacon there. Anyways, we did, we did similar stuff back in, uh, Aberration as well, so... I don't know, that's going to be our only checkpoint, so depending on how big this place actually is... I'm like, it all just depends on me knowing my way out of here and not getting lost, right? Because, like, look at this, I can't even see it right now. If I come all the way over here... Yeah, now I'll be able to see it, but all the way over here, I can't even see that thing, so... We need to watch the heck out here, you guys. Good thing I have my flak armor on right now. I'll be able to soak up as much damage as possible because it is my best, highest rated armor. Still not seeing any critters here. I am hot. Probably due to the, uh, the flak as well as the torch I've got right now. I wonder, yeah, I mentioned a little while ago, if there are artifacts in here, this would be the perfect place to put an artifact or maybe a few artifacts. I wonder if I can get up there. I mean, I don't know. This place is, like, massive. I wonder if we're going to find the other area where we, like, swam in the other underwater tunnels and then we came up in another area. I wonder if we'll come up to... Uh, oh, man. Oh! Ah, I don't have a climbing pick in this series. Whoops. I guess I could make one, right? But I I can't make one right now, unfortunately. Ah, oh, man, I really want to... Can I climb on this? Might be able to climb on this and see what's at the top of this bit. Maybe there's a... 
Ooh, here we go. Just kind of Skyrim horse parkour myself up here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, no, I'm glitched. Oh, can I break this? Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. What happened? Let me put my torch in the hot bar. What happened? I can't see. Oh, oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, oh. Come on, jump, jump, jump. There we go. Okay. Whew. Had to break a little bit of a rock right there, but hopefully we can still parkour ourselves onto the top of this and see if there's anything up here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Anything up here? Ooh, ooh, salt. Do we have salt in here? Yeah, we do. I know we got salt from bones, or, or uh, wait, these are crystals. Wait, can I still, um, what is the button? I remember when I first start. here we go. Ooh, you can't. Oh, wait, hold on. That was the wrong button, I think. Um, how do you drop, uh, I'm trying to, oh, hold on. Here we go. This button, right? No, that's not working. Why can't I drop this torch? I remember back, uh, when Ark first came out. Ooh, okay, okay, it doesn't work. When Ark first came out, you could drop the torch and it'd light your area up, but I guess I can't do that. But these are crystals, not salt. So I guess I can't get salt from those, but then again, we don't really need salt, because, of course, we have tons of salt back home, and we can get that from, like, bones and stuff, which is crazy. Anyway, stalactites and stalagmites here on this big old rock here. There's a big old stalactite mite thing that's connecting the floor to the ceiling right there, too. Man, I really wish I made more standing torches. I'd be able to find my way back. If anything, do I have my GPS on me? I do not. Ooh, I might not even have a GPS in this series. Whoops. But I really, really want to figure out, like, where home is and everything, because I don't want to get heckin' lost here, <laughs> you know? Jeez. What's up there? I don't know. How's my torch doing? Looks like it's doing pretty well down there on health. There's an area up here that looks like it goes up. I wonder where this goes. Hopefully to, uh, another area, maybe with a artifact or something. Oh, just pooped. Still haven't seen any critters, though, so... That could be a good thing, Annabelle. Oh, speaking of critters, Megalosaurus right there. Just noticed that at the last second. That thing is kind of asleep. I guess if, I, I guess if anything, it's kind of good that it's... Oh my god, there's like five of them. There's two more right there. One back here. We need to be very sneaky little fellas here, you guys. This cave is huge. Okay, what is this? Oh, mineral rich rock right here. Okay. I'm kind of zoomed out, by the way. That way we have a bigger field of view. And we can see a lot more. So if you guys are wondering why I'm in third person, that's the reason why. Seems to be helping out a little bit. Ooh, I feel like it feels like that other cave. Oh wait, there's a little bit of sunshine. Feels like that other cave where it's basically empty. Although I don't remember if we came across oh came across any megalosaurus in that cave. Then again, if we do wake one up, we should be able to kill one pretty easily. I'm not bragging, but it's just a fact. Anyways, we got a little bit of plants growing here somehow. From the minimal light that's coming out of somewhere up there, I guess. Guess it's full. Oh, oh, that's smoke. Okay, I thought that was a critter. Okay, this is another dead end right here. Man, this place is. Cr what even is the point of this place? I I assume it's to kind of throw you off, and maybe there is an artifact here, and there was an underwater dead end down there too. You guys remember? So I assume that was to throw me off as well, but. Of course, that was only one out of two paths, so <laughs> just by process of elimination, one path is a dead end. Surely the other one isn't, right? And that's what ended up us uh, over here. Well, actually, I think there's three paths. Two of them led us to uh, this underground cave. One of them was a dead end. So anyways, I guess I guess we'll check every bit over here. Maybe I'll pause the recording and continue adventuring. Kind of cut out some of the more boring stuff. And I guess, uh, I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. Hopefully I find something interesting. Man, this place is so cool. Oh, that's a critter. That is a cr Is that a roll rat or something? What is that? I think it's like walking towards me. No, it's the uh, Megalania. The lizard critter. Is that thing friendly? Is that thing uh, neutral? I think it is. I think it's... Oh. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Contracted highly contagious Mega Rabies. Oh no, 86 seconds of Mega Rabies. Do I have a, uh... No, I put the antidote up. I remember I had some... Oh no, what is that noise? What is that noise? I wonder if we could find Nameless here, you guys. Oh, what did this guy drop? Megalania Toxin, perfect. Oh, that's me. That's me coughing. That's me coughing. I need to be very careful here, you guys. I have a, what was that, like a minute and a half or so of uh, Megalania... Disease? There's another thing up there. Well, it looks like maybe it's skull or something? What is that? Good thing I have like a bunch of health potions. I can see my health deteriorating right now. It's down to 211. We can just take that. Boom. 
Are we good to go? I can hear myself coughing still. Not a very good place to hang out, you guys. If, if we see another Megalania now, we know we need to attack it before it attacks us and does insane damage. Let's try and get to the top of this rock. Try and do some parkour. We'll be nice and safe and scope out the area. At least be nice and safe until this Megalania rabies. Mega rabies, apparently. <laughs> Mega rabies, hopefully that's gonna wear out. I wonder if I can mine this thing. Hmm. Still coughing over here, too. Eat a little bit of food. Can I mine this? I cannot. Okay. Really wish I had a uh, climbing pick and we could kind of climb to the top of this thing, but it seems like it's just another dead end over here, you guys. Unfortunately. Oh, what's this up here? Can I climb up this? Oh. Oh, I can barely not climb up. There we go. Kind of Skyrim horse my way up this. There we go. What's up here? Seems like we can go up. Uh, maybe there's like a... Nah, that looks like a dead end up there. Man, I'm about to take another health potion. Good thing we have like 85 of those things to kill like a million tribes, people. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything up there, you guys. Of course, I'm going to be right in the video for you guys. So you'll be able to see a little bit easier than I can, but... For right now, I'm not really seeing anything. No artifacts, no nothing. I, if there even are artifacts here. Maybe I'll go look it up. Maybe I'll do a little bit of research for an underwater, underground... Oh, there's nothing there. Uh, Ragnarok Cave. Let's see if there actually is any artifacts. Because we've never seen any artifacts in Ragnarok at all. So, if there are any artifacts in Ragnarok, this would be a great place to hide them, but... For right now, let's regain our stamina now that the, uh... Mega Rabies is gone, right? There's a Megalanian Toxin, like I talked about earlier. Um, where's my... Oh, there it is right there. Try and get up to full health. Good thing I have five torches, because this one's about, to, uh, almost halfway to burning out. But I think I'm going to pause the recording here. Continue exploring off camera. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you guys know, but... Uh, oh, and I'll also do a little bit of research and see if there is an artifact here, because... I've got a feeling in my gut that there actually is, so... If there is, and maybe I'll see if I can find some information about where exactly it might be. Unfortunately, I'm not... Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, GPS, so if it tells me exact coordinates... I won't be able to find the exact coordinates. Because, uh... I don't have a GPS, but... I'll try my best, but... Like I said, I'm going to pause the recording and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. Man, look at these stalag... What are these, stalag tights? Stalag tights come out of the ceiling, right? I think so, like a, like a tightrope. I think that's how it goes, and then stalag might, like M for mountain. I think that's how it goes. Anyways, that's enough tomfoolery. I'm going to do some research, I'm going to do some exploring, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright, guys, I'm back. I think I found something. I'm here at what seems like the end of the cave. I've just been kind of like staying next to the walls and stuff like that, just so I explore every inch of it. And I came to this dead end and then looked up, and it looks like, well, at first I thought it was daytime, and then I opened up my inventory and saw that it was, you know, it's 18, 19, it's basically 6, 20 p.m. It's, it's going to get dark time, and then, or nighttime, whatever, dark time, whatever. <laughs> and then I saw that it's kind of flickering. You guys see that? kind of flickering and that's why I think it might be artificial and maybe the glow of either maybe uh, maybe a loot crate or an artifact oh and here's Megalania I got some Megalania I have 10 Megalania toxin now which is actually pretty good I should probably drop a uh, metal and crystal and all that stuff but there's no way for me to get up this thing I guess if anything I could make the what is it called the the thing we did on the center, the uh, the hook shot, or grappling hook. Yeah, the grappling hook. Apply on the crossbow to grapple onto the environment and other critters. And blah, blah, blah. Reel in, all that kind of stuff. We could do that. How, how do you make it again? Spend a base fiber, metal ink, th uh, three stone arrows, thatch. Seems really cheap. You should be able to do that and make it at the cross, or uh, I could make it at the workbench for the crossbow. Or, perhaps we could do the climbing pick, kind of what I've been talking about lately, it is an aberration thing, it requires four green gems, I'm pretty sure we have a few of those, should be able to make a lot of those pretty easily, just because green is the easiest one, you only need like three dies or something like that, but if we make the climbing pick, we should be able to climb to the top of this thing, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's an opening there at the very top. And it seems like that might be where something is, I don't, I, I really, it might be daytime, I don't know, maybe it's... I don't know, I, I genuinely do not know, you guys. Maybe it's a loot crate, maybe it's an artifact, but I just need to remember, like, where this is. I don't, I don't think I have enough things to make another standing torch. Uh, what do you need? Uh, stone thatch wood? Ooh. Hmm. I don't think I can get any wood down here. I can, I can get the stone! Of course, if I had some wood, I'd also need to get some thatch from whatever trees I come in contact with. 
Uh, maybe these things have? No, they just have some arrows, slingshots, and stuff like that, which is really cool, but it's not going to be of use for me right now. I'd hate to lose this spot. I don't know where exactly I am. I can, oh yeah, I guess I can look at the map. Let's look at the map here in a second. Although, if I do look at the map, it's going to be dark, isn't it? Yeah, it's dark. Oh, I, I, I can barely see. Okay, well, I, I can see a rough area where I'm at right now. Okay, you can see my nails kind of glare. <laughs> they kind of look like I have nail polish or something on it or something crazy. Anyways, let me let me try and find my way out of here. I, I did climb up a lot of areas, trying to say, trying to see if there's like any hidden treasures or loot or anything like that. And I've killed at least maybe a half dozen or so Michelinias. I killed one. Oh, uh, here's some uh, dead bodies right there. I kind of left those dead bodies here just because I don't really need to loot their dead bodies anyways. There is another pathway this way. Oh, there's a sleeping, uh, Megalosaurus. There's another pathway this way. I didn't go over. Oh, it kind of... Ooh, that kind of... Oh, man, that really dips down. Man, if you guys are afraid of heights or anything... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, man. If you guys are afraid of heights... Man, I'm sorry, but well, at least it's kind of dark. You guys can't really see it, but uh, I guess we'll try and get our way out of here. And whenever we come back with the climbing pick, we should probably upgrade the climbing pick, by the way. I think we have a primal climbing pick in aberration. That thing still hasn't broken. <laughs> um, and can I make a glider suit here, too? I assume I can, right? Like, what's stopping me? Uh, ah, learn on aberration. Wait, why do, why do I have to learn this on aberration if I have the climbing pick? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I, I I guess we can't do the, uh, oh, dehydrated. I guess we can't have the gliding suit, which is actually kind of cool. We can just kind of glide around everywhere. There are a lot of high areas up here where it seems like we can just kind of glide down and stuff. It seems like a really cool thing. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want to fall down. That, see, that's what I'm talking about. That would have been a really good time to have a glide suit. I don't know how big this fall is, you guys. I think I'm in a really, really bad area right now. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, can I? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Okay, fall. Fall on this little cliff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh man, lag right there. Okay, I really want to go home, make the climbing pick, make a, uh... I thought there's something right there. Make a, uh, what is it called, a grappling hook, because of course we do have a primal crossbow nowadays. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I upgrade the crossbow to be primal. Because I did want to kill underwater critters with the best... Think possible. Of course, I think there is a, also a, uh, what is it called? The thing you hunt whales with. <laughs> the, uh, harpoon. There's like a harpoon gun and everything, too, but that, that's really expensive. I don't think I'm able to get that, at least right now. Maybe here in the future we can make a harpoon gun and casually go whale hunting. Look for Moby Dick or something, right? Anyways, I think it might be just, like, right around here. Right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, there's a little bit of water there. Man, see, this is what I'm talking about. I, oh, there's the waterfall. Right, hold on. I remember seeing a waterfall here. But where's my, uh... Where's my beacon? Where's my standing torch? Took a little bit of damage right there, but that's not too bad. Okay, you guys, I might need to pause the recording again. I really thought it was right here. I remember seeing a, a waterfall, and uh, I don't know, maybe I have to go a little bit more this way. Oh man, I really do not know, you guys. It's crazy. Everything's like so dark. I can barely see, so I guess I'll just pause the recording, try and find my way out of here, go back home, make the make the hook shot, make the uh, grappling hook, make the make the climbing pick, all that kind of stuff, real quick. And I guess I'll see you guys back here at the base, I re or uh, at the cave. But I really want to go find my standing torch, like I said before I pause, because of course I spent some time doing that. It'd be really nice if it actually, you know, worked. Oh man, I really don't know where I'm at. Oh, there goes the torch. At least I have a bunch of other torches. Man. Oh, I'm going to have to spend a million years trying to find my way out of here, you guys. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, Megalania, Megalania, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. No, oh, no, I got poisoned. Ah, Megalania rabies again, mega rabies. Ah, all right, well, whatever, you guys. I'm, I'm in a huge predicament right now. Very dangerous, getting poisoned and stuff, but good thing I have a bunch of torches. So I'm going to pause the recording, try and find my way out of here. And I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. Over at the, uh, the area with a climbing pick and a grappling hook. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh my god, you guys. I, oh, oh sheesh. Sorry about that. Oh my god, what in the world's going on? But I, I saw what looked like stars over here. And I think I found the cave entrance. Which is good. So I guess there's more than just one entrance into this place. But, oh sheesh, what's that noise? 
Oh no. Saber cat, saber cat, man, I'm taking damage. Oh, I didn't take any damage to my flak. Okay, good thing, good thing. But I, I, I really want to see, like, where exactly this is. Where in the world is this new cave entrance? Because I, I might want to come back here with a better critter. Maybe I'll bring my, uh... Oh my god, oh, two saber cats. They're just kind of hopping all over the place right now, you guys. We need to watch the heck out. And ba boom got them! Got them both! Nice! Two with one shot! Nice! <laughs> Professional! Let's get ourselves a little bit of hide and chitin, or keratin, because it is a saber tooth, right? Anyways, oh, this torch is almost burnt out. Where exactly is this? Like, I see the ocean over here, uh... uh I, I genuinely don't know where this is. I guess if we could look at the map. Um, uh, okay, I guess it's up here. I, maybe I can come over here with my turret on, I don't know, and... I guess that'd be a good thing, I just need to- oh. I really want to make, like, a standing- oh, she sure goes that. I really want to make a standing torch real quick. Thankfully, we have torch- or, uh, trees over here, and of course, get a little bit of stone and flint as well, because of course I need that for- oh god, another one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh no, right there, right behind me! Oh my god, thankfully my flag is so heckin' good! Soaks up all the damage like it's nothing. Standing torch. Let's make, uh, let's make two of them. One of them. Whatever. I just need one of them anyways. And then we just put it here at the entrance. It's gonna be really easy to see during the nighttime, you guys. Whoops. Oh, I just typed in EW. <laughs> oh, this place down the- Oh, I can't move. I can't move. Get rid of the, uh, get rid of the stone and the extra wood. There you go. Let's place this, uh, standing torch basically at the entrance of the, uh, the cave. Or the exit, or whatever you want to call it. That's really cool. I guess if anything, I just need to be very, 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 very careful. And, uh... I guess that's fine, that should be as, make sure that's not auto on off, make sure that's on all the time, okay. But I guess that's kind of a good thing. Now I just need to hopefully get back to my Tyrannon back at Viking Bay, nice and safely. Of course, I do have a little bit of food, I have a good amount of water, I have a lot of ammo for my shotgun. Should probably make some more ammo, down to only 42 or so shells right now. There's the blue tower over there. Okay, I think I know a rough idea where I'm at. Oh, oh, scorpion, scorpion. And ba-boom, got him! Alright! But I think I know a rough idea where I'm at, you guys. So this is going to help out tremendously, so... I'm going to go get back on my Tyrannon, and I guess uh, make all that stuff, come back, and I guess use this cave entrance to get back to where I was, and maybe I'll be able to ride my Tyrannon into there, which would be... I don't know, uh, actually, yeah. Let's go see if I could ride my Tyrannon into there, because I'm like, some caves do dismount you automatically from flyers, so you can't just fly around inside of a cave, so I guess I guess we could test it out, myth bust it real quick, and see if we don't even need the climbing pick and all that kind of stuff, so I've got to pause the recording, go find my Tyrannon, hopefully make it to my Tyrannon alive, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm back over here at the cave, it took me a little while to find it, uh, thankfully I placed down the little thing right there, the little, uh, beacon, the little standing torch. Anyways, let's see if we can actually fly into here. He's probably going to dismount me here in a moment. If not, ooh, okay, we're inside. Let's get our, uh, there we go. Is it going to dismount me? I don't think it is. Hasn't done it just yet. Usually it would have dismounted me by now, huh? Well, we're about as inside. Oh! I don't know what just happened right there. We're about as inside as you can get, honestly. I don't think we're going to need the, uh, the climbing pick and all that stuff right now. All I need to do now is just kind of figure out where the, uh, Oh, that was, and I guess maybe we'll... Ah, what am I going to do, though? I have my Basilosaurus stuck here, basically. <laughs> and then, I guess I could ride out with my Tyrannon, and then maybe drop the stuff off at home, and come back with my Tyrannon, get on my Basilosaurus, or something like that. Ah, man, I don't know. Ah, it's going to be... We're in quite the conundrum right now, you guys, as I like to say. <laughs> but, uh, where... Oh, is this it over here? Is this it? I think it is. Oh, yes! Here it is right here, yes! And... Oh, that's an artifact! That's an art. Ooh! Ooh, we found it, you guys! Oh, what does that say? Artifact of... Artifact in container. Artifact of the cunning. Ooh, let's take it. Oh, and by the way, I got a uh, supply drop. I think it was like a blue supply drop, and it had like so much stuff inside of it. Like, I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> Anyways, let me get back on you. Let me get the torch back out. Is there anything else over here in this area? Oh, there's something glowing over here. Ooh, glowing mushrooms. Okay, I guess that's it. Is that it in here? Anything else upwards? No? Oh, there's a bit down here. Is, no, that's where we came from, right? Yeah, this is where we came from. Is there anything else in this room, though? I want to see if there's anything else here before... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah, this is a completely different uh, exit. Um... I think the artifact was, like, right... Oh, my God, there's, like... Oh, wait, yeah, here's the artifact... 
This is the hole that we came out or came in from right here. That's the hole we came in from. And then there's another hole here. I guess there's like three different ways of coming up here. And then there's another hole. And then we go over to the glowing mushrooms and there's yet another hole over here. Um, I guess we could fly down it. <laughs> I don't know where this is going to take us. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, Megalos! Oh, we need to watch out for them, you guys. Okay, where are we right now? Oh, more Megalos horses. I don't know where we're at. Okay, we're here in the big area, it looks like, right now. We got a bunch of, uh, trees and stuff right here. More glowing mushrooms over here. Oh my... I don't remember these glowing mushrooms, though. Well, thankfully, I could ride my Tyran on in here. I could just kind of go all over the place pretty quickly, honestly, but... The thing is, I, I don't know where I am. I don't know where to go. Thankfully, my Tyranon is a pretty fast critter, and he's pretty good as well. He can soak up a lot of damage, deal a lot of damage as well, but I'm completely lost. Well, if anything, the good thing is that we got a lot of loot from that supply drop, as well as we got an artifact. Now I need to find my way out of here. But, well, there's this. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't go out of there. There's like an invisible barrier preventing me from actually leaving out of that little sunlight area right there. Man... Well, I guess I'm going to have to pause the recording once again, try and figure my way out of here, you guys, and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit, maybe? I don't know. Oh, is this? No, that's not it. Man, I don't know where I am, and I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'll see you guys here in a second, though. Jeez. Jeez.